the birds top and so bad top and top and top and so bad feed the birds so only top and so bad i would take it as a great favor if you would kindly feed them for me top Turned on a scheme that was bound to make millions, and we want to know why. Then, uh, then I'll tell you. I refused Mr. von Hassler because, well, because his scheme was hollow. It had no product. It had no substance. It had no meaning whatsoever outside of the walls of a bank. Oh yes, of course. He he spoke to me about assets and and profits and growth. But there wasn't a word about people. Now, now I realize, gentlemen, that if anyone puts any value on real life, that you consider him a washout. But I'm afraid, I, 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 I'm afraid I do value it, gentlemen. In short, George Banks, Esquire, has uh, has rediscovered the human race. Now, I, I apologize if I have. Ruin the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding that there are more important things in life than making money. Ruining the bank. <laughs> Ruining the bank. <laughs> Ruining the bank. My dear chap, what are you talking about? You've saved our bacon, haven't you heard? Von Hustler's scheme has ruined our rival. You've kept us out of the nastiest scandal since records began. We don't want your apologies. We're offering ours. Oh my word! And another thing. Do you remember giving a loan to a fellow called Northbrook? Well, he's repaying it, and he's building two new factories. And with the percentage you negotiated, well, we look set to make a fortune. Oh my word! Well, that's just it. Now, we very much hope you might tell us how you did it. Just give us the word that it'll be quite safe with us. G give you the word. Give you the word? <laughs> I'll give you the word, all right. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Thank you. Now, thanks. <sighs> Okay. Forgive him. It's not his fault. It's all because of his nanny, Miss Andrew. The holy terror! <laughs> she taught me everything I know. <laughs> well, well, then now is your chance to forget it, Mr. Chairman. That's right. And if you want to fight about it, then you come to the right it, woman. It's all right, darling. It's all right. I, I haven't lost money at all. In fact, in fact, I, I've made the bank a fortune. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Madam, if you please, sir, uh, we still have some business to conduct. <coughs> well, thanks, uh, George. Uh, by way of recompense, we'd like to offer you the position of senior manager, with salary. A double. Exactly. I, uh, how much has he made for you? Uh, triple. <clears throat> Quadruple your present rate. <sighs> Close your mouth, George. We are not a codfish. Well, well, I, uh, I accept. Only from now on, you must understand one thing: my family comes first. Agreed? Agreed? Agreed. Oh, Winfred, darling, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I've underestimated you. How can you forgive me? How can you ask? 
it was selfish of me to keep you off the stage. You'll want to go back, and, and, and I won't mind if you do. No. I loved it. But I have found a role I rather prefer, and it's going to keep me extremely busy for a very long time. 